Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to talk about uh, music. How to import music in Videoscribe. What are the limitations of recording. And also we will talk about the voiceover feature inside the Videoscribe. So let's get started. To add music in Videoscribe, we simply have to go to this icon. Scribe music. You can see a lot of musics that are already inside the music library of Videoscribe. From here we can see different categories of genres like ambient, blues, dance music, easy electronic music, folk. We can also sort by name uh, from duration, short to long, long to short, slow to fast, fast to slow. We can also filter the music according to loop friendly tracks or all of the tracks. These are all the different musics that are available inside the Scribe music library. So in order to use all these musics, we must be connected to internet. And then after we select the music, then only the music will get downloaded on our computer system. And then the music will get attached on our video scribe. We can also review the music by playing from here. In order to add the music or add our custom music, we can click this button and we can select any mp3 files that we have in our system. From here we can import or copy paste the web URL of mp3 music. But I guess downloading the music and uploading it from this option is much more suitable. I recommend you to use any other video editing softwares like Premiere Pro or Camtasia to filter out the music and to create more effect in the music like removing noises or removing additional portions. Videoscribe by default adds the fade out effect of the music at the end of the whiteboard animation. But also that is a limited feature so I highly recommend you to use any kind of video editing softwares for editing the sounds. We also have a voiceover feature. Now let me close this music library and let me go to this voiceover feature. From here you can select the microphone device if you have multiple microphone devices. You can also choose to play the scribe according to your voiceover recording or not to play the scribe. Normally this feature actually does not work that much while creating any kind of videos because whenever we try to record our voiceover on the scribe, the synchronization does not happen that much properly. That's why what I do is that I personally first record the voiceover and then after recording the voiceover I listen to that music and accordingly I create whiteboard animations and at the end by using any kind of video editing tools like Camtasia I synchronize that particular voiceover with the whiteboard animation. You can simply click on this red button and then it will start recording the voiceover. Now let's add our text. Hello. Let's preview that. If you first record the video and then you try to add the voiceover, you will feel a lot of issues while making the voiceover or the audio and video parallel. Then listen to that particular recording sound and then create video. That's how you can synchronize the recording and the video perfectly. I personally use Audacity for recording my audio and editing that audio. It is available freely on Windows or Mac platform. Well, that's it for this video. We discussed all the features that are available on Videoscribe music library and voiceover feature. In the next video, we will discuss about exporting the video, exporting the video as an image sequence, and also we will talk about the different kinds of settings available while exporting the video. Until then, signing off. Have a good day. Bye-bye.